think just a little understanding of vibration, a little understanding of who you are, a little understanding of your own guidance system would serve you so very well. We think if you could just know that the way you feel is your indication of whether you are in sync with who you have become or not. When you feel eager, when you feel appreciation, when you feel that enthusiasm for life, you are moving in the direction of who you really are. But when you feel ornery, when you feel insecure, when you feel angry, when you feel resentful, when you feel injustice has happened to you or when you feel unfairness, when you feel that way, even though you're looking right at something that nearly everybody on the planet would agree with you that an injustice has been done, when you focus in that way, you're focusing in a way that the source within you will never focus. And do you know why that is? Because the source within you only focuses upon those things that it wants to see more of. Because the source within you understands that this is a universe that's based upon inclusion only. There is no exclusion in this universe. Which means when you see something you want and you say yes to it, you include it in your vibration and you add unto it. But when you see something and you shout no at it, you include it in your vibration. And you add unto it. So every time you say no to something, what you're really saying is, come to me this thing I do not want. Every time you push against anything, there's a war against drugs and a war against AIDS and a war against poverty. There's a war against crime. There's a war against teenage pregnancy. There's a war against, a war against, a war against terrorism. And all of that pushing against, all it does is add more unto it, but even more what it does, it causes you in your pushing against those things you do not want to prevent yourself from going with who you are. In other words, when you see terrorism or injustice or anything that you don't want to see, and we know there's plenty of it to see. It's not by any means dominant. It's minuscule in the whole scheme of things. But as you focus upon it, and we understand why you would, you came forth to explore the contrast. As you see something like that and you know what you don't want, every time you give birth to what you do want, and the universe is better for it, and the future generations will benefit from it. But... In every moment that you stay focused upon what's wrong, you hold yourself apart from what you've been asking for. So the longer you live, the more contrast you see. The longer you live in this physical body, the more you ask for more. And do you get it? That every time you ask, the source within you rides that rocket and the larger part of you becomes the vibrational equivalent of what you're asking for. So therefore, the longer you live, the faster your stream moves, so to speak. The longer you live, the more this part of you becomes a powerful force. And why is that? Because law of attraction is responding to the vibration of all points of consciousness. So you are sort of like a two-headed monster. We mean that lovingly since we're one of the heads. When life causes you to become more, Here's this part of you that has become more. You get the sense of it? This is who you were before you were born. This is who the larger part of you is now. This is who you are adding to vibrationally. Do you get it that everything that you see in your physical manifestation form was once and first vibration? Do you get it that it's a thought first and then it's a thought form and then it's manifestation? That everything that you hear it see in this time-space reality, smell, taste, everything that you experience in this time-space reality is nothing more than an exaggerated version of what was once a thought vibration. So here is this thought vibration, the beginning of the creation of more, the expansion of the universe all tied up in this vibrational escrow, so to speak. We're demonstrating the bigness of this and here you are in your physical expression. Now, which do you think? So here you are, you're thinking, you're believing, you're knowing, you're wanting, you're living, you're loving, you're hating, you're doing whatever you're doing. And law of attraction is responding to this vibration that is you. Can you get a sense of the vibration that is you in your physical form and the vibration that is you in the wholeness of that which you are? And so now as you lay your newfound understanding of law of attraction over these aspects of you, what do you think has the strongest response? This or this? So, 
Law of Attraction's response to who you have become creates the sensation for you of inspiration. That's that feeling of being called to the completion of something. When people say, I want to fulfill my purpose, that's what they mean. When they say, I want to get on my path, that's what they mean. When we say, you want to be a blended being, that's what we mean. And what we want you to focus upon, it's an analogy that will serve you really well. This law of attraction's response to the powerful, evolving, expanding you creates the sensation for you like a river flowing, a powerful river flowing, flowing to the eternal becoming of that which is you. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> So as this non-physical energy is summoning, there is this powerful stream that feels to you like inspiration. And when you turn and go in the direction of that stream, you feel the ease and continuity of your being. But when you don't, you feel the separation, too strong of word. You feel the resistance. So there is allowing, which is going with the stream or current of who you have become. And there is disallowing or resisting or not going. The better you feel, the more you are allowing. The worse you feel, the more you are not allowing. The thing that we so want you to gather as a result of our conversation here today is that you cannot ever separate yourself from this stream. So when we say, you're going, you're going. The current, Jerry and Esther went whitewater rafting last summer and it didn't occur, there were several of them, several high school wrestling teams were on the water with them that day. And Jerry and Esther and their friends, seven or eight of them in the same boat. And it didn't occur to any of them, not even the high school wrestlers, to turn the boat upstream and begin paddling. It was obvious that the stream was going to have its way with them. And the river guide told them, this isn't Disneyland, folks. We can't turn this river off. And that's what we want to say to you. Your stream of becoming that was set into motion even before you got here into this physical body and has been added to tremendously ever since you got here into this physical body cannot be turned off. So we're not wanting to say you are without choice because you, are, you do have choice. You can go willingly or not. And when you go willingly, you feel wonderful. And when you don't go willingly, you feel awful. Because this is certain. You cannot hold yourself behind that which life has caused you to become. When life gives you an expanding experience, you got to go or you don't feel good. Get out.